like, comment and subscribe. I tried playing football but it's a hundred years ago. Sounds pretty interesting. It's a video by Kieran Brown. He's a football channel, I know that much at least. Other than that, I don't actually know that much about him. But let's see if it's a good video. Today I'm seeing what it was like to be a professional footballer back in the 1930s. Now 1930s. I've tested individual products from the 1930s before, and there's a big difference. But what if I tested everything together? I'm talking boots, ball, pitch, kit and goalie gloves to get the full experience and see Ooh. what it was really like to play in the 1930s and to see how much mm. performance was really affected. I'll also be doing the same test in the most modern football kit I could buy. First up, let's take a look yeah. at the pitch. So okay. when testing the modern kit, I'll be using a 4G pitch that is completely flat, so it shouldn't cause me any problems. Whereas when yeah, testing yeah. the 1930s kit, I'll be playing on a bobbly pitch more akin to what they'd use back in the day, making controlling the ball more difficult. When it comes to the boots, we have the 2022 Mercurials versus a pair of old leather high tops. The ball we have is the 2022 Premier League football versus an old heavy leather ball. For goalie gloves, we've got the new Adidas That's Pratica kind of hard versus to see. these pretty interesting looking things. And finally, we have the modern lightweight tight fitted kit versus a baggy, heavier, old interesting looking kit. things. And finally, we have the modern lightweight. What is this? this? Is this actually in Demi Landscape? Tight fitted kit a versus a baggy, tight. heavier, old kit. These 1930s boots, as you can see, they're a thing of beauty. Just getting them on is a hard part. No, I've got there them, but uh, I think the boots make the biggest difference out of everything because they're just they so much different. The ball cool, obviously is least. still round, it's still fairly similar, but when it comes to these, they're just completely different design. And here are the full they look like they're going to just smash. <laughs> and they look kind of heavy, weirdly. First up, we're going to do a weight test. Wait. For this, I'm going to wear the whole kit together. Take a look at the results. 1930s kit weighed 1850 grams. It's and the like 750 grams. That's almost double the weight. First point goes to the modern kit. Fucking hell. 750 right, so grams. Let's get on. First test is comfort. Boots are one of the worst things I've ever worn. These get a 1 out of 10 for comfort. The gloves Ooh. are actually pretty nice. So these, these are up there. And the rest of the kit's okay. But overall, for comfort, I'm going to the rest of the kit just a shirt. A 5 out of 10. So, comfort, the rating for the 2022 kit. Honestly, I can't pick a fault in it. The gloves are so nice, super comfortable. Kit's feeling really good. The boots are snug. It's got to be a 9 out of 10. Unsurprising. Right, so the next test is the sprint test. And with these boots on, I think this is going to make a big difference. Also, the pitch as well. So, yeah, let's see. That was just like clipping and clop all over the place. <laughs> These things are a nightmare. <laughs> Literally clowns. Right, sprint test. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, that's, that's a better, difference. A hundred times quicker. There's no way like only that doesn't seconds, completely but... obliterate the 1930s score. So, as expected, the modern kit smashed it. But look how much quicker the new boots and pitch allowed me to get off the mark. Oh, yeah. Right, next up we've got the shot power test, and with these beauties, I reckon we can go pretty hard. For this test, I'll be yeah, they, I mean, they look like they're the only shot. going to smash it. That was 15 miles per hour, so not ideal. 62, you know, that's not bad. But for this final one, I've got a trick up my sleeve. Still toe caps. God, that hurt my throat. So, with the use of the big toe caps on these nine... It feels like it hurt you more score, than the boss. 65. These aren't as bad as I thought for power. I'm not actually sure how much difference this will make because the 1930s boots and balls did pretty good, so... 69, that's I'll already beat the 1930s score by about 5 miles per hour. I think that's a clear win for the modern stuff. The modern kit won the power shot challenge, but only just by 4 miles per hour, which is actually yeah. a lot closer than I would have expected. Right, so next up we've got the dribbling test. Dribble around these cones, fastest time wins. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. Dribbling in these boots and on this pitch was honestly so difficult trying to get traction on the ground when turning. And I think my final time yeah. reflected that. I've got the turn in circle of a cruise ship in these. As expected, the boots and the pitch were the main factors stopping me from going quicker on this test. Yeah, so of the course. Kit compared. <laughs> Oh, 
for me on this one. It would just been able to turn a lot quicker. Uh, again, like two seconds. I couldn't really do for the 1930s boots ball and pitch. It looks a lot faster, right, but it isn't that goal. much faster. We've got the gloves on. If you take a look at these, they've just got loads of little rubber grips on. Realistically, in the 1930s, they probably would just go bare hand, but I wanted to have a pair of gloves, probably the first pair of golly gloves, just to give some competition there. I'd be facing 20 yeah. shots in the 1930s and 20 shots in 2022. Alright, gloves on. One final thing. Of course. I'm channeling my inner leg action. It was time to see what I could do. Well, they don't exactly the... This is in the Shelly Ronaldo shooting. <laughs> Never mind, that's a pretty good goal. Oh, that's, I'm blaming that on the pitch, man. That's where the pitch comes into play. I mean, the... He still probably should say it. Should we catch him then? He and barely got the, any... That heavy ball on his gloves. Yeah, but... Oh, what the fuck? Man, I can't, I need to take this cap off. I feel like it's a disrespect to Levy Ashley, man. <laughs> Performing all that and wearing this cap. Well, that's goalkeeping for you. In the 1930s kit, I conceded 10 goals. Right, honestly, I just feel so much better in these gloves than the 1930s ones. Hey, you can't fit, The thing is, I've also got to take into account as well that obviously the strikers are going to be better. Well, I mean, yeah, to be fair. So, That's actually a good thing. That definitely felt so much better, actually. So, the results for the goalkeeping test. I conceded 10 goals in the 1930s and 6 in 2022. Although it's something to think about that That's the strikers would also be better in 2022. There is just a lot more yeah. unpredictability in the 1930s with the pitch, ball and gloves. The surprise, surprise. Test, the 2022 is Steve smashing How many can I something from a hundred years ago. That, yeah, that's more like it. Surprisingly uh, well, he's doing it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Three out of five in the 1930s is pretty good to the test. With these boots and this ball from the 1930s, I don't think it's going to go well. For this test, I'll be having five shots from behind the goal and seeing how many I can get in. Oh. Wow. I, have, I know most people probably wouldn't oh. even score in general awesome. from this position. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot closer. That's one out of five in the 1930s and two out of five in 2022. And these scores are getting pretty one-sided now. Yeah. Eight nil. For the skills test, pretty one-sided to say the least. And in this kit, I was able to do an around the world, which I'm not even sure was invented back in the 1930s. <laughs> but I wasn't able to get past the double around the world. Uh. Nah, that's the most freestyle I can do in these boots. Whereas in the modern kit, I could do all these tricks easily, and then some. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Don't do it, skills, The difference wasn't quite as much. I was able to do skills like McGinney spin, roulette, and flip flap. Yeah. But they just weren't as fast and smooth as when I was doing them in the modern kit. Yeah, yeah. The final test is the big one. It's shooting. To test this, I'll be having 25 shots in the 1930s and 25 shots in 2022 and seeing how many goals I've scored. Yeah. Oh, no. What the f- oh. Now, this performance may look to be fair, the pitch is already shit. Some world shit. Ooh. Oh. Man, that wasn't too bad, you know. And not the, the, sh the boots aren't horrendous, right? Oh! oh.
you probably need to put a lot more power to do these shots. Are you joking? I would have gone pro in the 1930s. Oh. I'll turn to Prime Stanley Matthews. <laughs> Oh. Right, last shot, I'm going to go for a knuckleball, boys. Can you knuckle with 1930s gear? If anything, it should be easier with the no, power shot. Hard, no. You know what? This wasn't actually terrible. Never that was six goals in the 1930s. Let's see how this compares to modern day. I mean, realistically. Right, so, uh, of course it's... <laughs> oh. He's already like double. Honestly, I just feel like with this stuff on, I just so much more confident. So I think it's pretty clear from this video that we're very lucky to be playing football now rather than a hundred years ago. Well, yeah. Then uh, pretty much every single challenge was won by the 2022s one. Although power wasn't that much of a difference, and skills was just slower. And, I mean, running realistically is just based on him. So, that faster or slower is like two seconds each. So, overall, like, yeah, the 2022s were a lot better. But also not, it was mainly just different kinds of... And, I mean, the pitch, I think, was the, a very big factor. 